Okay, now what we want to do, um, this is again part five of the Pure and Beam video, uh, but what we want to do now is we want to annotate this. Um, so just kind of looking at some of the things we're going to annotate. Um, of course, you want to mention that these are vents, um, and it's really, um, we're going to go ahead and mark every vent. Um, so I'm going to choose some text, and I'm, actually I want to do a leader. So let me go here to annotation. Change my leaders to annotative. Okay, it didn't work. Annotative, there we go. All right, and then click a leader. And click on the vent. And let's kind of reposition that a little bit. Now again, you want these to be neat. You don't want them to be all scrambled and everything all over the place. Um, that could actually be a little bit smaller in text, but uh, let's just go ahead and leave them like they are. Okay, so I'm going to copy this one, and I'm going to copy it right from that point right there, so I can just go and click, click. Okay, so I got all those. Now I want to also keep the uh, keep it on the inside of the um, thing, on uh, inside of the foundation, so I'm going to do another one right here. Bent, okay. All right, and let's see. Let's see what our alignment is. That's about, okay, that is perfect, okay. All right, and again, I'm going to copy this one. And here I'm going to have to flip this one around. Okay, and I'm going to have to go a little bit lower, I think. Okay, so I could do something like that because I really can't help it. I don't have much of a choice. Or I could do this. So add a leader right there. Click on add a leader. I'm going to draw one right there. Okay, which that actually now creates one hole. Let's copy that one. Go down here. Okay. And then we want to get this one out of the beam. Take it up like that. I'm just going to draw one here. And we'll just draw some separate ones down here because they're going to have to be a little bit different. Okay, vent, 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 vent. That gets all of them. Okay, so there, there it is. I've got a few of them that are sort of out of place. I tried to align them all up with something. And that's the, the main thing. And I can actually probably scoot this one right up under here, and that'll look a little bit better. Maybe that's better. Okay, you always want an angle in that line. You don't really want them to be two straight lines, like a 90-degree angle between the leader, the leader segments. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so that is one way to do that. Um, so a next next annotation is going to be your joist spacing and your joist annotation. And the way we do a joist is we draw a straight line. Okay, now this one's going to have an angle to it right there. Okay, and then this one is going to have the opposite angle to it. Just like that right there and try to make them the same size right there and we can go ahead and actually write our text I'm going to write some text above it and some text below it i am going to go ahead and reduce the size i think or now eh, let's just leave it like it is okay so um i just want plain text 
Okay, and the first thing I'm going to write is two by ten joists. So two x ten, not two inches by ten inches, because we're talking about nominal length here or nominal sizes, nominal dimensions. Um, let's stretch that out a little bit longer, like that, and rotate it. And I can already see I'm going to have to make this longer. That isn't going to work. Put that on top. And then also we want to give some instruction on what we're going to do, such as uh, placement of those joists at 16 inches. Now this is a real inch here, so you got to write, put the unit of measure 16 inches inches o period c period which means center so they're going to place these joists down there and they're going to measure 16 inches from the center of one joist to the next joist uh, for placing the next joist and i'm going to rotate this one now all we need in this case is this one annotation for joists because all of our joists are going to go in the same direction there are some situations where your joists will not all go in the same direction and you would need to annotate likewise. And I'm going to move that. We don't want it sitting right there on top of the beam. Find a good spot for it, like right in here where it can easily be read. Now here's one thing we do have to do. We have to add a door. Okay, remember I said the door was 24 inches wide by 18 inches tall. So I'm going to come right in here, place a line, do an offset of 12 inches, offset this line 12 inches to each side. Delete the center, draw another leader, and find a good place to place this leader like right here. And we're going to have to, because we're getting kind of crowded on our text, we're going to have to bring this one down a little bit further and access door. Okay, and that would probably be a little better if we lined it up with this. Okay, that makes it look a little bit more professional. Okay, the only dimension we need, okay, we're going to do a linear. Let's do it from here. Is that how they marked it? Okay, they marked it from the outside of the wall. So from the outside of the wall to here. And we've got to go in and change that. Go into our annotations right here. And we got to change it, change it to annotative, modify. Okay, the position, let's see, it's not going to be centered. It's going to be above. Okay, let's go above, aligned with dimension line. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And I also need to change the primary units to architectural. Click OK and close. And I'm going to click on this line and change this to annotative. And there we go. So we've got 15 feet going in there. And then we also want to let's see how they dimension that. Okay, so we dimension these piers from center to center. Oh, yeah, I got to do a continuation. Continue dimension. Center. And then the end. Change the type there. Changing it to annotative. Okay, 
annotated. Now, of course, you can see they're not all perfectly spaced apart. They're very close, uh, and that's because I chose to take the overall span and place the overall span from each end, and then, of course, the center just kind of makes up the difference, okay? So we've got all of that done, and we do need to label our beam as well. So I'm going to put a leader here, and then somewhere along here we're going to Okay, and this is going to be a six by 10, six by 10. Okay, and that is a nominal size. So it doesn't have the inch unit designation. We'll slide that over just a tad. Don't want the overlapping that line right there, that other dimension line. And I think that is all we're going to have. Now, sometimes too, you, when you do this, you can actually split these up to where you have these, all these spaced exactly alike. That is a possibility. Um, it's not important in this scenario. Some other scenarios, it might be more important. And I think we have everything as far as our um, annotations, all except for the hatching. So we're going to go to this AR concrete, and we're going to go around, and we're going to hatch in each of these spaces. Be real careful. Line it up, and then click inside the space. Sometimes if you're not careful with your cursor, you can end up hatching the entire screen. And then get a little closer and kind of go in and do that, which is divided by those lines. All right, now lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to put our dimensions, and this one is just too easy. It's uh, pretty simple. I mean, some designs are going to be, um, you know, kind of squirrely or whatever, uh, but here you're just doing the depth and the width. You don't have to do a whole lot of anything special. Of course, and it keeps defaulting back to the standard there we go, 50. Okay, I'm going to change it this time. That way it'll be that way when I start. Okay, just basically the outer edge of each wall. Okay. All right, let's just make sure we have the distance. I would put these about six foot uh, because we really don't have a whole lot of dimensioning to put in there. I'd put them about six foot from the wall. So six feet. Oops. Okay, so really I want to take it right up to that corner. Right there. Get rid of that. And we just want to take this to there. Get rid of that. Okay. And it looks like that is it.